Hi, I'm Tyler. Uh, before we start, I'd like to say that teaching methods do vary, so please uh, check notation and language professor before you turn in your work. But today we're going to be talking about positive externalities. So positive externalities are benefits that are enjoyed by a third party resulting from uh, some person or group's activities. So uh, some pretty good examples of this that are most widely used are education and immunizations. So with immunizations and stuff, you get the shot like when parents get kids shots they do it for their kid they don't want them to get sick but it also affects the spread of diseases throughout the thing so there is a benefit to society that's not shown by that anyways um so what happens is in the demand curve here so this is the private one this is what happens the black is just the actual market curve but since there are these benefits to third parties that isn't shown by that transaction there's another curve, which is the marginal benefit to the society, which is shown by the green here. And what that is, is it's the private demand curve plus the third party positive externalities. So here we have the private market for immunizations. And like we talked about, immunizations have a positive externality associated with them. So there's going to be another demand curve that reflects the social marginal benefit that lies above the private marginal benefit curve. So, without any intervention, the market will consume at this equilibrium point here. However, it's most beneficial for society to consume at the socially optimal equilibrium, which is found here, at a quantity, this QS quantity. So, since the price rises, people aren't going to just consume at this quantity because they think it's right. So, we need to subsidize either the consumers or the producers to make the vaccines cheaper in order to actually consume at this socially optimal quantity. So at this socially optimal quantity, consumers are only willing to pay this much for uh, that many immunizations. So to get to, up, to get to here, this cost needs to be borne by someone. Usually this will be done by a subsidy from the government either to the producers or the consumers to make vaccines cheaper. Alright, thanks for your time. Uh, if you have any questions, contact the Econ Tutoring Center or your professor.